getting started in SketchUp? Here's a quick tip. With the Move tool, you can click and let go on an endpoint, edge, or face. Then move the mouse to edit the position of that piece of geometry, and then click to complete the operation. This is great for moving pieces of geometry to get the shapes you need. Now the biggest mistake you can and will make at this point is using the mouse incorrectly. Remember, don't click and drag. Even if you get the Move tool to work this way, this bad habit will bite you down the road when you face more complicated situations. Now moving the right stuff is only half the battle, but what about moving it exactly where you want it to go? For example, what if you want to move one group so that it's touching another, but not overlapping it? It goes back to the fundamentals again. When you click with your mouse to begin the move, SketchUp sees that you're clicking on a very specific coordinate. So when you click the second time to end the move, SketchUp sees that you've clicked on a second specific coordinate, and it says, ah, okay, gotcha. You want to put exactly where you clicked on point A onto exactly where you clicked at point B. If you click somewhere random to start with, it'll be impossible to move things exactly where you want. But for our example, a great idea would be to click on the edge of the first group, then click on the edge of the second group. That way you know those edges are touching perfectly. This works for matching up corners or even midpoints for centering. Of course, the Move tool gets much harder to use in 3D space. For more on that, plus other critical concepts you need to know when you're first getting started, I recommend watching this video. Until next time, happy sketching!